Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Monster X Gears Gaming Mouse lineup. Currently, in the Monster X Gears lineup, like their keyboards, they have three different types, the Fenrir, Behemoth, and Baku. Let's start off with their similarities. All three mice have a nice long braided cable, brushed black casing, we'll get into the texture a bit later on, 7 modes of RGB lighting and a polling rate of 125Hz, 250Hz, 500Hz and 1000Hz. While the dimensions on each of them are slightly different, it is very minimal and I do like mice that are on the medium to large variant. So for me this sizing is perfect but I would definitely recommend trying it out before purchasing because you may use a different grip or have a different preference from me. Personally, I use my mouse in the palm grip way and I have pretty long fingers so that's why I like this sizing and the width doesn't really matter much to me as long as my thumb can actually click on the side buttons easily. Also, they all have a very smooth clickable scroll wheel so that's a welcome function as some mouse scroll wheels are just, well, horrendous to use. Moving on to the differences, let's start with the Fender. This would be the cheapest coming in at 69 SGD and the Fender has a PMW3325 optical sensor that can go up to a 5000 dpi resolution and weighs in at 172 grams. There are three customizable side buttons with the middle one being a triple click button while you would be able to change the dpi settings on the fly with the plus and minus buttons on the top of the mouse. At the same time, there is an extra button on the bottom to actually change the backlight. So the Fender has an edge stripe texture for the side and it does give a bit more of a grip but it isn't a rough kind of texture. Anyways, I think out of the three, I definitely like the RGB lighting on the Fender. It looks brilliant, granted the front ones you would have to be looking at it straight on to see it yourself but yeah, it would definitely make your friends heads turn when they see this. Up next is the Behemoth. This has a PMW3360 optical sensor that goes up to 12,000 dpi and weighs in at 120 grams. It also has three different side buttons on the side but in a different orientation with the most front button being a double click button and you can also change the dpi with the top button. The Behemoth actually has a striped groove texture instead on the side which lights up in RGB also so it's really definitely very gorgeous but I personally wasn't a fan of this texture but after using it for a while, well you just get used to it. Last in the lineup is the Baku. This is their ultra lightweight mouse which is all the rage these days weighing in at 75 grams and it has the same sensor as the Behemoth. The Baku only has two buttons on the side, the forward and the back and a DPI button that is cleverly hidden in the middle of all the other hexagons. If you're like me and have slight trypophobia, this may not be the mouse for you but after the RGB lights up it isn't as bad. Because there are actually so many hexagonal holes on it to reduce the weight, obviously the texture feels slightly weird to me but if you're in the market for a lightweight mouse, you probably won't mind it because that's what all of these lightweight mouses are like. RGB on this basically just comes through all the holes and it will probably look really nice to someone with no trypophobia but yeah, those are the three different mice. Some closing thoughts. I appreciate the fact that all three mice settings and RGB lighting can actually be changed without installing any software or drivers. Just look through the manual because there are different ways to change the settings on the different mice but yeah, it is something nice in my opinion. As I mentioned in my previous Monster X Gears keyboard video, they are a relatively new company but it's pretty cool that they are diversifying their lineup with different gears and I can't wait to see what else they're going to release maybe something like a mouse that you can adjust the weight or a MMO mouse with more side buttons, things like that. Definitely be interesting. Anyways, that's been it for the video. Remember to like and subscribe for more tech and gaming videos. Hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come up and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!